the cable operators who were largely at that point in time, a lot of guys who were, they were like older, they were older white guys who climbed poles and built these cable systems and they didn't like MTV. They didn't like rock music or popular music. And they didn't see a market for it. So they didn't want to carry us. And they were monopolists. There was only one in the market. There wasn't satellite TV yet like direct TV. But we knew that wherever we were in the few places we were, people were fanatical about us. So we said, well, let's go over the head of the distributor, the classic marketing thing, you know, trying to get your product into a store, basically. Let's go ask the customer, who in our case were people who generally had a lot of time on their hands, were avid about the product and would call the cable operator, and we got rock stars, like uh, the big rock stars of the day, Sting, David Bowie, Mick Jagger, to basically, in a way, validate us by, they would say, call your company and tell them I want my MTV, and we'd put all these funny commercials together, and we would go into a market and blast it out on the broadcast networks, and within, a, within 10 days, every cable operator in the market would surrender and take us, because they were just deluged with phone calls. Well, we knew if we failed, we'd be dead forever because they would hold it against us that we tried. They, they don't like it when you go over your head. A monopolist does not want to have anyone go around him talk and have anybody customers. talk to their customers. So if it didn't work, we were sort of dead meat. 